So last little tidy up from earlier episodes. In episode one, right back at the beginning, we talked about what's happening to the cypresses in the highlands and we've all been noticing that they're dying. We talked all about that. If you didn't hear it, go back and have a listen to episode one. So Lou now has an update on her study of the cypresses. Uh, Well, it's more than just me. There's quite a few of us actually who've been investigating this. But what's happened now is we have actually got some data from the Department of Primary Industries. What we did was we dug up the soil uh, beside these trees that were dying and we sent them up to a testing laboratory and we tested them for Phytophthora because we knew of a couple of previous tests and they had both tested positive for Phytophthora. So we were advised, test for that, because it's very expensive to test, and if you test for everything, you go broke very quick. Of the 14 samples, which came from six different properties, all scattered around the highlands, eight of the 14 samples came back as positive for Phytophthora. Oh, dear. And they were mostly cypress trees. They were either... Uh, Leylandiae's or Cypress torellosa. Um, the gum, the two gum trees we tested did not test for Phytophthora. And oh, good. One pine tree in Mittagong did test for Phytophthora. So we're sort of trying to wrestle with that and interpret that what data. What does it all mean? Mm. Yes. And we touched base with a professor in uh, the Botanic Gardens in Sydney. And he's going to help us with what we can advise landholders to do with the dying trees and how they might replace them. So this is only the beginning, guys. Um, Wait and see what right. more we can tell you that's really helpful, apart from the fact that your trees might it be exists. dying. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Phytophthora. And of course, Phytophthora is a, a fungus type. It's not a fungus, but a fungus type um, waterborne disease and it really came in with the wet probably Mm, mm. Um, and that's quite distressing. Uh, Phytophthora has several different species. What the best known one is the potato blight All right. that did the Irish. Millions and millions of people died. That was a Phytophthora. Um, I'm not sure which species but um, so it's a serious a serious thing. pest. Yeah. So you told me that if we walk through an area that's contaminated with Phytophthora and we don't clean our boots and then walk into another area, we can carry it to another area. Is that absolutely? Yeah. So on muddy boots and on materials, anything on your uh, tools, mm. on your equipment, you have to clean it with seventy percent meths. All right. To, to to stay sterile off. to get yeah. it off. So yeah. um, a lot of people walk through just a little bath of, of, of water on their Wellington boots as they go into the paddock, and then through the bath on the way back again in case mm. they picked it up in the paddock. Mm. And one of the most upsetting examples of late has been the story of the Wallamai Pines mm. in Wallamai National Park, mm. and somebody has walked or some bodies have walked in with Phytophthora and those those stands, those precious stands oh dear. have been infected contaminated. with Phytophthora. So it's not just cypresses that can be contaminated, it's going to affect... Not at all. It, it's widespread. Gum trees get it, right. uh, natives, exotics, it's widespread. Yeah. It's there all the time in the soil, but when it rains like it did in the last couple of years... And it's in standing water in the soil. That's it's, when it's it really gets to life. a grip. Yes. Right. So even if you carried it in somewhere, if it was dry, it would then sit in the soil and the next time there was lots of wet, it would be enlivened, shall we say. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It, it, it's hard to tell. It, it's always there, yeah. sort of latent. So I, I know that the Frog ID people ask you to just almost swear on the Bible <laughs> that you will wash your boots between visiting various different frog areas. I, th- I think they're concerned about the chytrid 
virus in frogs, I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, but there's, you know, a number of reasons for cleaning up your boots when you've been certainly in, you know, in dampish areas or anywhere really uh, before you walk into a different area. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, that is, it is an incurable disease and it mm. does kill. Mm. So you really need to take we it need seriously. To be careful. Yeah. yeah. And I read a little item saying that They've trained a couple of dogs, some spaniels the to sniffer dogs. sniff it out. Yes, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's I, I, I wish them the best of luck. I hope that there's going to be more of them, two dogs for the whole country's a good start. But They're going to be busy. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be busy. They're going to be sniffing the entire nation. <laughs>